Hi everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a union read for you. It incorporates both the masculine and the feminine into one. So it's a read for the union. Okay, and I'm gonna get right into it. There was definitely some information coming through today. There's a lot of stress and anxiety coming up today, so make sure you ground yourself well. I'm feeling it coming through now, as a matter of fact. So make sure you ground really well. And no, it, it's probably not you, but you need to ground, okay? And clear. Um, I happen to be going up to visit my mother after I do this in the Alzheimer's facility and there's definitely stuff in the read coming up about that situation. Somebody, some people may be actually committing their parents or maybe even a partner to a facility. Um, there's definitely energies to that effect so I want to get right into the read and then if I have time I'll pull some oracle cards, okay? And I'm going to show you the read um, before I start so I don't forget. Okay, so this is the union read for today. And you saw the basic read of the Syrian starseed deck in the icon, okay? So you have that picture as well. Uh, it was just 111, so let's get going here. It is February 3rd today, 2019. The three is of the Empress. The Empress is definitely part of the read. She's not the... Uh, the Queen of Wands is the main focus of the read, and my mother is definitely a Queen of Wands. That's why there's a parallel there for me and those energies. But the Queen of Wands definitely can be the Empress energy. Um, she, the Empress is only coming up in the in the clarifiers, but the Emperor is part of the reed in the center, so it looks like maybe the husband or father figure with the children are actually helping to find a place for their mother, Okay, whether this be a, a grandparent or parent or the actual karmic or divine feminine energy. I'm not thinking it's divine feminine energy, but it's probably a karmic or some, someone's parent, okay? Um, there's very uh, sexual energy around this, and some people may be acting inappropriately because of some kind of mental issue or condition. So um, we'll get right into it. So like I said, the Empress is the three of today, and we're in February, which is the High Priestess energy, the psychic abilities, and then the day adds up to 17. So it's all about the star energy today being the center of attention, healing, and your dreams coming true. So there's a lot in the, in the read today about attention and getting attention as well. And fear of stardom, that's another um, uh, something to clear for you guys. The 17 is an 8, so it's again, stay at that zero point, stay balanced, make sure you ground, ground, ground today. There's a lot of scattered ang anxiety and stress-related energies today. Okay, so we have the star and the empress, so it's very powerful. You know, the empress in her, in her positive aspects it has everything, you know. She takes care of other people. She's abundant. She has everything together. She has everything she needs. She doesn't need anyone else. She relies on herself. Um, and the uh, and the star is about your dream manifesting your dreams come true. And of course, the empress has the power to do that. Um, but also, pride comes up in this read today. Pride and uh, environment. Make sure your environment's green. All that kind of thing, as well as. Um, uh, there's definitely completion and new beginning energies, so that rebirthing energy, and then pa so much patience is going to be required right now with this weird energy. So just, you know, before you leave the house, make a conscious effort to stay present. Don't let your mind go off and wonder. Wander. You can wonder. <laughs> Don't wonder either. But um, just to stay patient and stay present, and that'll keep you in a good place, okay? And it's also getting, in the coding today, uh, 69 as far as the temperature in your house was coming up as a good place for the air conditioning for peace and compassion okay so obviously we're not using air conditioning in most places right now that I'm talking to because it's winter but it was still talking about it was very clear that it was the temperature in the home that 69 is good for peace and compassion and also is getting that um, a little cool in the house makes for more cuddling okay so you don't have to talk so much it's more about you know just wanting to hug each other so which helps with integrating the energies so getting right into the read the uh, read was done at 1055 this morning and the only major arcana was reason in the Syrian starseed deck that's normally the Emperor and he is a person in this read but it's called reason because it's all about the logical man there are three pentacles, three wands, three swords, and only one cup. So like I said, there's a lot of stress and movement 
and around money things as well today those three 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 but also then one cup so there's a little bit of emotion there so it's good it's present but there's not much as far as emotions and uh, you know that real lovingness going on the court cards were, are uh, Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and Queen of Wands, which comes up a, a few times all bunched together. There's a lot of that fire energy coming up, and there's it's not all positive. And of course, the Nine of Pentacles also com is coming up as the underlying energy, which I also see as a person. It can definitely be a sovereign. It can be a teen or someone in their 20s, um, and it can be someone older than that, too, who's just independent and sovereign, has everything they need. The Nine of Pentacles is like a younger Empress, okay? So that's coming up in the read as well. So she could represent the Empress, um, but not the Empress with the Emperor. Uh, not the one that's having issues, okay? Because the Nine of Pentacles is coming up as positive energies. And we'll get more into the signs in a minute, okay? So the numbers and the coding, everything has to do with patience today, okay? Stay patient, and it's going to be hard because you're going to feel stress and anxiety. The numbers that came up, um, 69, as well as the 6 and the 9, and 69 is the Ace of Pentacles, um, and any other sexual connotations <laughs> you want to bring up, whatever energies it comes up for you. And it's interesting because the coding numbers added up to 84 today. My mother's 84, and I'm going to visit her in the Alzheimer's facility today. So everything was kind of tying back to that situation. 30, 11, 666, all right, so um, normally I don't, I'm not seeing uh, the three sixes as that typical devil energy, but today I'm definitely getting it as it is. Uh, we have strong endings and beginnings and like the 666 energy, uh, negative energy of third party interference. I'm not getting the, the divine feminine or divine masculine, but someone else in the family who's third party interference, some kind of dark energy. There's no fear about this. It's just staying present and being patient, okay? 30, 11, 666, 99, 89, 68, 16, which is the tower energy, and then 3331. Three, three, All these numbers came up. And then, of course, we have the time of the read was 1055, which is the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords, which is the truth. Okay, so a turn for the better in the truth coming out, and the truth, there's two aces in the read, and then there's more aces in the clarifier, so there's definitely some strong new beginnings coming up here. All right, so the coding, like I said, has had to, one of the things about the, to, the coding was putting your thermostat at 69 to see how it affects you and the differences, but it was coming up as being good for peace and compassion and patience. Um, so the eighth, Ace of Pentacles is all about new life, maybe uh, new money, or offering someone money, or receiving money. But it's also coming up as an academic test in order to move to peace with endings and compassion, okay? Also, an offer of money and or sex is coming up. So sex came up in the coding, but also came up very much around this Queen of Wands in the read. Okay, offer of money and or sex, an academic test in moving to peace with the hermit or collective consciousness and patient. patience. And I'm going to get to the hermit in a second. But love, the hermit, alternating current, so um, contrast is a good thing, okay? Contrast helps you expand, helps you, help, teaches you about pe finding peace and compassion, okay? So that alternating current is energy that we use in the house, but it's not constantly in one direction. It, sh it switches directions, so that's the contrast we need, and it's something good, okay, to help you with peace and compassion. Um, also, the definition for the hermit was coming up because all these different terms come up in the coding here. But hermit equals the wise one, equals the number nine, equals the collective consciousness, equals peace, equals compassion. Okay, so they're all one and the same. Stay cool for a night of peace with the hermit. Have patience. So you may be coming together as well with your masculine. Have patience and be peaceful and keep it cool in the home. Okay? Some of the coding that came up. 5E came up as the first header in brackets, 5E, okay, and 5 is expansion, change, and then E is often represented of the Divine Feminine of Eve. Uh, Marshall, Marshall Adept, and this was from 
tome, and it wasn't tome, it was T-O-M-E, of battle, colon, the book of nine swords, and that was from reddit.com. Um, the second heading was, to the masons, what is the secret of nine? And that was from quora.com. Um, the, the answer in the heading was, there's nothing about nine <laughs> that has to do with the masons. But then when I opened it, um, there were several things that were important to come up. So number one, uh, that uh, there are nine officers in the Masons, so when you have elections, there are nine spots. The number of the Aeneid, E-N-N-E-A-D, nine, was first square of an odd number, three by three, um, also was associated with failure and shortcomings because it fell short of the the perfect number 10 by one. So it's like the, out, the minute before the hour, the calm before the storm. The number of men, or the number of man, because of the nine month embryonic cycle, or life, and then the key words, ocean and horizon, because to the ancients, they were boundless. There was nothing beyond number nine, but the infinite number 10, and it was just 1122. 11 is justice, 22 is the fool taking that leap of faith. It was called boundary and limitation, the number nine, because it gathered all numbers within itself. Sphere of the air, because it surrounded the numbers as air surrounds the earth. It was looked upon as evil because it was an inverted six. According to um, o Eleusinian mysteries. It was the number of the spheres through which the consciousness passed on its way to birth. Because of its close resemblance to the um, spermatozoon, the nine has been associated with germinal life as well. So germs. It was just twelve, twelve, which is wisdom. Seeing another perspective. So here's your, your other perspective of number nine. Another heading was um, DOD's nine combatant commands, which are COCOM, C O C O M S, what they are, what they do. And that was from DODLive.mil for the military MIL. Okay, so six commands, which have six of the nine com combatant commands have geographic areas of responsibility. A O R is the acronym. Okay, and then another heading was 40 Millenniums of Cultivation. Chapter 388, and that's from webnovel.com if you're interested. Um, and then the last one was um, plus or minus 6.9 AC available. David Hendrick, and this is from image1.loopnet.com. It was definitely a, um, a, a retail property. 1111, get this address. 1111 Metropolitan Avenue. Suite 700, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28204. Okay, and 28 is the twins, two of wands. And then 20 is judgment, and 4 is the emperor. P.O. Box 36799, and that was also in Charlotte. But anyway, it was coming up from www.coletra.com, C O L L E T T R E.com. Property details at Abermile. Ab Albemarle Road and Circumference or su Circumferential <laughs> Road. Can't even say those roads. Um, it's 9.5 miles outside Uptown Charlotte and looked like east of Charlotte. But oh, I couldn't believe it was 1111 Metropolitan Avenue uh, or Suite 700. And North Carolina is a, you know, one, a big place for uh, migration of the twins. So I think it's one of those hot spots. So, uh, big time in the read was pride, arrogance, and dealings with with the number six around the Queen of Wands, and of course, and the six 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 was coming up as being associated with that energy. It was just fourteen forty four, the Temperance and the Mastery of the Four of Cups, right? Atlas energy. I was getting for the Queen of Wands energy. It was coming up as that dark energy today. Queen of Wands is not always dark, okay? But it is coming up as dark today. 
that the using artificial light to illuminate their own crown okay instead of natural light so other headings were about pride and arrogance reactions that were coming up in the coding as well nine orb nine orbs he used has served to stabilize him in this chaotic tempest with three heads and six arms each bearing a war hammer and belching six okay so it's very much of that devil energy the way the devil is portrayed and also the queen of wands in the Syrian star seed deck has six arms okay she's got her arms and fire and, and all the fires going on around her okay so also um, just in passing the Dodge Ram truck came up and when I was down visiting my daughter we got an accident I was hit by a Dodge Ram so again it's bringing up that kind of energy of chaotic energy today this anxiety and stress to stay present no fear just be aware in every moment okay also um, uh, the diesel pickup auto it was coming up on YouTube this Dodge Ram truck as AC repair kit so someone's air conditioning um, may go out not that you're using it here but there are other places I guess that people use their air conditioning now you're you're on the other side all right so as soon as we get into the read 26 comes up in the beginning of the read which is the page of wands which is that excitement that young you know date like energy okay it can be very creative it can be very sexual it can be um, physical but it is young and immature okay the owl the white owl pure and angelic wise and we start this out with big eyes okay so if you haven't seen the movie big eyes you need to see it to understand what it's talking about and it, the information here does bring up the message around big eyes but if you haven't seen it you might want to watch it to really understand the single woman can fall victim to dreams of stardom and fame with negative self-talk negative words from others stalking but can rise above and still be giving and share and teach and learn from each other as attention or success grows good news and excitement in 1711 justice and the star those who want to use you will suck you in with compliments and then knock you down with negative comments to retain control over you and your work and again this refers back to big eyes because uh, it was about a couple who when they met she, her artist her work was better than his work as far as artists so and she was shy she didn't like the limelight so he or they got into a situation where she, he presented her work and they thought it was him so he kept the credit of her work and then it went on to be very famous and so he took all the credit for her work and then of course that gets reversed at the end when it all comes crumbling down okay it's the message being don't let anyone else take credit for your work okay you you deserve um, whatever kind of attention you get from your work because it comes from your natural light okay and it's not about fame and fortune it's about um, about allowing your light to shine okay so you're not being you are not being kind by allowing others to take credit for your creative work because you are afraid of the limelight love yourself first love not fear they're mutually exclusive you can't be in one and be in the other at the same time new passion for reaping rewards of your own efforts expands happiness to family whose options may be limited it is not a race to the finish line one foot bigger than the other you can't compare apples to oranges a false start is cheating to race you have to start evenly otherwise you're at cross purposes or cross keys enslaved to the masonry okay and that was a download coming in why are options one and three up for consideration when door number two is staring you right in the face it may be covered in a white sheet but both hands are sticking out so that you recognize and you resonate with <laughs> Where did it get you before? Choosing or vacillating about love in this way. The old three are right in front of you. Are you going to let this fourth one slip away? The other three may not have worked out, but it was love which helped you to become the you that you are today. Learning about snakes and two-faced people. But were you always being true to yourself? Or just living by their rules? And this is why you got yourself into trouble in the first place if you wait too long poof they will all be gone back to working for the establishment church marriage or contract grounding boredom again rather than risking to be alone and free 
excited and satisfied. Okay, so there's stubbornness and resistance going back to the job that you left. Or, so here's the, the uh, culminating factor here, or now you are not working due to dissension at work, mutiny of students at school and betrayal, okay? Lack of harmony or discord. Okay, and, and this is where I wrote down feeling the stress rising, okay? And this was at 1210, so noon. It's like at noon the energy changed, okay? Fixing things broken at work on the weekends and days off while kids buckle down to do their homework, feeling pain, betrayal, especially back pain coming up. Divine timing of betrayal or an ending at work no longer can be fixed. In order to resolve pain and issues, you must start over completely and start again, especially in love. Pay attention to the red flags, which has to do everything with your sinks and your guides. So follow your guidance. Pay attention to your synchronicities. Underneath that was forgiving and learning. And then follow your guidance. The King of Pentacles is out chasing or just intimidating or saving the day or telling their girls to change their outfits that they're not appropriate. Finding peace in a surprising way. Shopping for Barbie shoes or putting the kids in a basket or cart at the store or running into a friend at a facility or the store or even at home, sitting with feet together, pretty shoes, by basket on the floor, or by the or or on the nice carpet, getting dressed to go out and have a nice meal, something healthy, after waking up late. When out and about someone may surprise you, he wears a red cape with or without his crown, always on a rescue mission. So the um the underlying energy from the numerology deck were nature and individuality, okay, that they're very significant today, which is to spend time out in nature to ground yourself, but also to to be your natural self and to allow things to happen naturally and to be your individual self, to show your true self, okay? Don't be a lie. So there's no new, possibly no new start today, but in need of money, work, or need to do chores, but now clear on what needs to be done with depression and stability when implementing or someone not healing gains clarity about a move that's needed in order to implement the next step in business. Clear on next step to make money or start a new life. The crystal ball says, time to shine your own light. Outside of the home or family, two bunnies waiting and the spring will be mating or multiplying. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control, cause the power you're supplying, it's electrifying, okay? So better shape up, cause I need a man, and my heart is set on you. Better shape up. Um, you better understand, to my heart I must be true, okay? So this is coming together with um, the masculine and feminine maybe meeting up, okay? So no more implementing based on family DNA, but based on your light. Enough sovereign time, grounding and integrating, ending pain and implementing. Next step to take. Follow your guides and synchronicities to destined meet naturally. Be you, be yourself. Recently, the King of Swords in aftermath of third party and gossip is up crying at night and stressed about people talking, partying, and or family news or kids spreading rumors about a pending new life, offer or pending loan or need of money or someone leaving the job. Okay, so the, the only signs that came up in the underlying leads here were Aquarius up and down. So there could be two, it could be the same person vacillating in their positive and negative aspects or it could be two separate people. I'm definitely getting two separate people because the negative Aquarian wasn't like the positive Aquarian here. Also, Scorpio reversed, and then Taurus, not sure what direction Taurus was, um, probably negative. Maybe Virgo and Capricorn, but Virgo and Capricorns were coming up as very minor in this read, but also in their positive aspect. Um, they're the only ones that didn't come up in the body of the read as significant, okay? But they are, they are represented, and they just might not be in the chaotic activity right now, you know, because they're in their positive aspect. The foundation for this read is that the truth is out, expressing passionate feelings, standing up for yourself, over loss and regret, making sure to ground and stay present to messages and synchronicities and your own individuality. 
Essentially at the heart of the union is energy covered in a mess. Okay, this is that anxiety and stress you're feeling. The emperor is there at the heart of the matter, control issues and pride, a need to be patient, coming together eye to eye, holding on. Watch out for your own inner wounded warrior being guarded. Remember that's victim mentality. There's a sovereign at work taming the beast, being strong. The masculine could be stuck working with a Leo and or a teen from the family or new love angel he runs into accidentally. The challenge being finding peace, talking with messenger of truth about worthiness and or up nights working, breaking your back, burdened by angel third party conversations and reigniting the flame of it. Now, the Knight of Wands, very happy, world complete, new life, new love, the Queen of Cups holding back truth from the King of Swords, her being out of control or without ego, patience of an angel. Okay, Deception about the Queen of Swords reversed, now with new info about Karmic's role in this whole situation. Okay, So the Queen of Swords here wasn't really coming up as a character, it was coming up to reflect um, lying or negativity or someone not in their truth or just you know giving someone the silent treatment it was very just it was just coming up as negative energy around the situation and the karmic energy that whatever lies the karmic told the masculine are coming out so now there's new info about the karmic's role in all of this silent treatment and or verbal abuse is now clear the angel is shining light about new love and new life at night with third party obsession the queen of cups with the keys and psychic impressions leaning on the truth while Aquarius Cancer kicks him out Empress Leo Cancer insists on house in division or to burn the past and start over the tail end of the storm of Leo rescue efforts and heated exchange about destiny of third party or mother ill or interfering okay so a lot of energy between mothers and karmics here soon there's a lot of anxiety sudden jealousy epiphany or sudden event about twins harsh truth and heartbreak leo pulling heartstrings to get his or her own way not walking away but sitting with bad feelings the queen of cups has transmuted for new passion now in need of money work or learning but good news on the way on the horizon it's been a successful journey for the twins just in need of an invitation the union is the page of pentacles it's how it's being seen right now and the Syrian star seed this is all about working on your psychic abilities so as the union it would be coming together to work on your abilities learning about abilities awakened with message of love no more conflict or deliberating or bad decisions and sirens were definitely going off right at that moment i was hearing lots of sirens going around okay so then the the cards that came up for the union here were flirt true love that this is a romance of a lifetime and then let go of control issues, which is why the emperor is at the center of the issue. You have to let go of any residual control issues that are still there to let go of the ego. It's the ego death, basically. So around the union, or how it is seen, is the knight of cups with emotional tidal wave, free to leap without resistance of the king of pentacles, who experienced a negative past and or being dumped or overwhelmed spiritually. Okay, so the king of pentacles is upright here, but he is recognizing his negative past and opening up about those emotions of now feeling totally free but there may still be a little hesitation to complete transformation there may be a little bit of resistance left there which is that control issue thing so the signs that came up in the body of the reed were um leo and uh, leo aries pisces and gemini all came up as both positive and reverse negative energies so when I say that, it means there's one person vacillating between their negative and positive aspects, or they could be two totally separate people, one who's negative and one who's positive. So again, that was Leo, Aries, Pisces, and Gemini. And I was getting specifically that the Pisces kids were in their positive aspects, so it may be the adult Pisces who's negative, but I was getting an adult Pisces that was positive as well. So it could be a multiple Pisces in the situation. But I was also getting Sagittarius up in their positive energy, um, Cancer reversed, negative, Aquarius negative, Taurus negative, uh, Libra not sure about. It doesn't look significantly one way or the other. 
And then Gemini, like I said, was upright and reversed, and Scorpio was definitely reversed. Capricorn and Virgo, like I said, um, didn't come up in any of the majors in the read, but in the minors, they were upright. So they were positive, but not, you know, they were more minor within this read and the specifics about the pride and ego stuff that's going on here. Clear blocks of the wounded warrior for the union, victim mentality, sneaky lovers, arrogance, and superficial options, and blocks like jealousy that cause chaos. Uh, the cards that came up for you guys were patience, but even more so, new beginnings, dealing with your pride, environment, and completion. Okay, So don't let the, your pride get the best of you when you come together. Don't go into your hurt mode where you go into your defensive mode of the wounded warrior. There's time for that, to integrate all the wounds. You know, that you're obviously going to have some hurt feelings that come up when, after you come together. But don't let that be the first thing that you get into. Allow yourselves to integrate your energies and, and know the love that's truly between you. There will be time to work things out, you know. If you have a moment and you need to cry about something, then you'll deal with that when that comes up in that moment, okay? Because you'll both still be clearing, having things to clear when you come into union. Getting wish of satisfaction on her own, the Queen of Wands has her hands in everything, including crowning herself. The Queen of Wands, Leo, is coming up as she could have Sag in her as well, as uninspired with tantrums, not using her intuition, and or secret is out about passion of lies and split. And then I was getting sex lies and videotapes. So that could come up for some Queen of Wands as well. Of a staged rescue attempt, offering sexual favors to get them back together from the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands sexually frustrated without a man and creatively blocked due to dysfunctional family illness or loss of family money. The union gets their wish because the flame is between the karmic and the divine masculine. There's third party jealousy. The karmic is saying, no way I'll be second runner up. You've got to be kidding. Okay. The Queen of Wands is off balance, creatively blocked dysfunctional lineage, possibly of bipolar or family mental illness. It's not for everyone. It'll be specific people. You know who you are. So the Knight of Wands is passionately moving from gossip and jealousy, third-party interference, laying down swords to end the war and apologize, maybe, to the Queen of Pentacles reversed and King of Wands reversed, looking back or thinking of going back, so apologizing for that, an instability with Leo who's out of control. He's sorry. Or it's not fair, balance of time, energy, and family, uh, moving with Queen of Wands, doing whatever she wants, partying, gossiping, cheating, and or cheating, so obviously not everyone's cheating. Then apologizing in order to get more money, being greedy, and the King of Wands reversed is tired and angry, looking back at this, now moving or moving Leo out to find the courage to start a brand new life of contentment. Okay, So independent child or sovereign with attention, in truth, of Page of Pentacles psychic abilities, grounding in synchronicities, the Knight of Cups offering love emotionally for new life without controlling for peace and without anxiety, letting go of defending his battle wounds. The Knight of Wands may be Leo Pisces Cancer Sag, karmic only out for one thing. While Queen of Cups stands by lovingly without control except to expose what she knows about the world and the cycles that are closing. The Queen of Wands is coming up here as imbalanced. Leo, Sag, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Pisces energies. All right. Um, def Leo is coming up very strong. Um, all of them. Leo, Sag, Cancer, Gemini, Scorpio, and even Aries were coming up pretty strong here. Pisces was the least strong of the energies of... of these signs being related to this off-balance energy. But it was very fiery. Okay. With definite manipulative energies around. And, and abuse of money. Okay. So kids and emperor. It was very much coming up about abuse of family money or having lost family money or dysfunctional family issues. Okay. So kids and emperor trying to care for another whether that be the karmic or mother of the divine masculine or feminine or grandparent or grandparents or in-laws, okay? So, and you know, it could be a great aunt or a great uncle, that kind of thing. It was definitely where the, the father or grandfather or whatever, the masculine 
lead figure here is with their children figuring out what to do with this Queen of Wands energy, whether it is a mental illness or just someone who's out of control and not behaving right. Um, they're definitely working out within the, within the family. There's some dysfunctional family issues being worked out. Um, so this definitely could be the masculine with his children, with his karmic, or it could be the masculine or the feminine regarding their parents or grandparents or some kind of family issues in that way. Okay, so mental illness and physical illness, not physical illness, mental illness and, um, and just being out of control energies, okay, are coming up here. So there's chaotic, there's lots of mess in the read here, shown uh, um, in the near future on the emperor, and then the um, anxiety issues. This bring up a lot of chaos because of the anxiety and stress issues that are coming up today. That's why it's so important as the twins, especially the feminines, to stay present and calm and balanced, okay, and grounded. Okay. So let's see, I'll pull a couple cards and then I have to get going. All right, let's see what we have here. Take a breath, you'll need a few today. Take a, take a deep breath. All right, so today's February 3rd, 2019. February 3rd. For everyone watching in the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? So Lady Portia comes up in 12 chakras. Number one is 12 chakras on the bottom of the deck, the underlying energy. The affirmation is I awaken my I awaken my 12 fifth dimensional chakras. Make sure your, all your chakras are spinning well. Use your intention to, to clear. You can reverse them to clear any crap and then and then reset by going forward again. So Lady Portia is 32, which is a five. It's also the six of wands, which is that attention and spotlight, which very much came up with the star. It's like the minor arcana of the star, this energy, the six of wands. Because um, it's good news, success, attention, the limelight having followers, okay? So, and it's 3-2, okay? And today is 2-3. Lady Portia is known as the goddess of justice. As Lord of Karma, she tempers justice with mercy and balance. In order to act with these golden qualities, you must let go of your own projections and prejudices and see the whole picture. Okay? Stay calm, don't assume anything, okay? Especially if someone is acting, acting out or whatever the situation. When you receive this card, Lady Portia is calling on you to review an aspect of your life or relationships to bring it fully into the fifth dimension. Be generous hearted, open minded, and fair, and step aside from judgment, and then your ascension path will be your path will be showered with gold. The affirmation is I am fair minded, open hearted, and non judgmental. Okay? So whatever arises today as far as any chaotic energies or situations. Stay calm and be open-minded and compassionate towards others, even if it's your masculine's karmic and you run into that situation where they're acting out. Right? Be, be in your highest integrity, okay? Clear and align. Clear and align. Okay. So from the past life deck, right, for this February 3rd, 2019, for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Okay. The bottom of the deck is Greco-Roman. Okay, so again, the Colosseum and allowing this, the sun to break through. There's a breakthrough today, even if it is at the Colosseum, right, where there's lots of conflict. And then it might get devoured. Um, the cards that came out all together, and they're all different colorings, which I love that contrast here. Okay. So contrast is good. You're being told that today. Allow the contrast. Okay, so you have love life, transportation, and then high priest or priestess. So make sure to use your abilities and stay present and grounded. And maybe some traveling. And maybe a, tom a time bomb going off. Somebody might be losing their patience. And that's why you're called to stay in your patience and your zero point. Okay, so stay in your lane when it comes to your love life and use your abilities. Follow your guides and synchronicities. Cross your heart and hope, don't hope to die. <laughs> and open your chakras, you know, so open your hands. Open your chakras, okay? And take in the energies outside, okay? And look up. Keep your chin up. 
across the bridge. You're crossing the bridge. That's why there's so much chaos. You know, in 4D is murky, murky chaos, dead things everywhere. That's what we're plugging through through. That's the bridge to get to the other side. Tom, be the Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Let go of your pride. Thomas has no pride. Okay. So the time is ticking. There is a timer. Safe. Okay. Safety is just staying present in your light. That's the only safety you need to armor yourself with, with love. Okay. Christ light. You can use some gold light. You can use uh, the rose light of compassion. You can use um, Archangel Michael's blue platinum shield. Okay. So just use the love light to surround yourself in that. That's all the protection you need. Love. Your love light. Stay in high vibration. Stay in your lane. Cross the bridge. Don't worry about time. Don't worry about being safe. Just stay present in love, and you are. And be at peace when others need to explode. Okay. Also, um, Celtic also came up real quick. So say that's reflecting the green energies. Make sure that you stay green in your environment. In a way, like don't be a Neanderthal, but be a Neanderthal, you know? Go back to basics, natural things. Okay, and they're all four different colors. It's like a, a little purplish, gray. The train is the gray, the murky 4D. Then you have the red, the red of the love life and the green of the green environment and the, the purple of the high priestess, right? The higher light. So good messages. Stay patient today. All right. Hopefully I'm just going to get one card here. I don't know how much time i got to go. I, mean, I have all the time in the world, right? <laughs> no time. No time like the present. Okay. Clear line. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Okay. We're just in time. All right, so February 3rd, 2019, for everyone watching the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Keep your temperature at 69. <laughs> okay. okay, just one card. Okay, bottom is Earth Angel number 54. 54 is the page of swords which is news. It also can be someone with um, bipolar if it's reversed energy. News messages, but it's also small communication. Keep it positive. Keep it light. And don't be immature. Okay. Stay grown up in your heart. The card that came out is self-initiation. 12 is of wisdom, which we started the read out with the white owl of wisdom. Stay pure and wise and self-initiate. Okay, you know there's all, they're all lower chakra energies here, the red and the orange and the yellow, but there's white here too. You, as you radiate out, the radiate out the purity, you transmute all the chaotic energies that will come in in a swirl around you today. Okay, so that's number 12. We're going to read that. And that says, self-initiation number 12, which is another three. Three is a self-expression. You're being touched by the wave of your own light and motion. Can you feel the blessings and love that are flowing towards you from within you in an upsurging wave of love? This is your own pure divine nature. You can choose to empower another as the carrier of your own divinity, of course, and that's about letting someone else take credit for your work and shine out in the world. Or you can choose to, or you, so sometimes if you're not quite ready to recognize your own divine essence, this needs to be. And yet at any moment you can choose to recognize that it is you who are initiating yourself into love, that you are the being of light, the divine, that is drawing you forward into yourself. At any moment you can choose to recognize yourself. Will this be such a moment? This oracle holds a message for you. There are many teachers on this path, some humble, some wise, some with great companions, some are great companions on your life journey, and some who will enter in and out of your life quickly, perhaps imparting a helpful word or teaching you a more challenging lesson about trusting and relying on your own wisdom. The greatest teacher, however, is life itself. You can trust in your own experiences and know that the divine spark within you, the life within you, 
is the one true teacher who carries you home in awakened reunion with the divine. Okay? So the great way to learn is by life. So by experiencing those chaotic situations and learning how to keep your peace, right? Um, the poem just simply says, How easy to love. The words flow when it's right. I dare not tell you. Okay? So just allow things to flow naturally. You don't have to... Everything doesn't happen, have to happen all at once. Trust yourself. Trust your own abilities. Don't rely on someone else to shine their light for you. Trust your own intuition. Okay? So, guys, I can't emphasize how much how important it is to ground today and drink your water and stay in a peaceful place. Rise and be loved.